This is a quick demo of what not to do when building a CI or build process for your SageMaker, both model training and model serving. So let me set the context here. I want to set up, I'm, I'm training models and building endpoints APIs with SageMaker. It, it takes care of spinning up compute, training the model, saving the model, building the APIs, and then shutting all of this down automatically so that I don't waste money. That's the core value of SageMaker. I can run this or launch these jobs from wherever I run Python. So like my local machine, as well as my CI server, build server, which in this case for me is GitHub Actions, but could be any CI server that you use. Now, what did I do and what should I should I have done? Well, in my case, I got started very, with a very lazy script where I was running one, I have everything running in essentially one file or one script where I'm both training a model, I'm grabbing that same model, and I'm calling in SageMaker deploy on that model. Well, what's the problem with that? Well, let's say, for example, I make a mistake, which in fact I did in this case, because again, I was being lazy and I wasn't thinking things through. I forgot I had added uh, some input to my configuration file, specifically the number of instances I wanted to use when deploying my model. So I'm testing, and right now I just want to spin up one instance to host the model, but I can imagine a scenario where I might want more, so I added that to my config file, ran it locally just fine, but I didn't add it to the configuration file that I was passing to the CI server. Now, that means I got this error. Okay, no big deal, but here's the thing. It takes SageMaker, it, they bill me, built like wall clock time or billable time is about 90 seconds for this model training. Not that the data is big, but it just takes a minute to spin up the underlying image, spin up the compute instances. Again, this is the stuff that it's automating. And the nice thing is I only get billed 90 seconds. Wall clock time, it's a couple minutes. And this is with the toy example. So in seeing this fail and getting the notification from GitHub, you know, I have to go back and make this small change. That's fine. But I wasted several minutes completely unnecessarily if instead I had just said, well, wait a second, how should SageMaker be used? Do they not store the model in the cloud? Like, here's the actual model data in this tar file. Here's the image, the underlying Docker image that's used. We can just pass that into a serving. We could write a script. I mean, shoot, you can do it from the GUI here, right? Create this endpoint. But there's code we could write that would reference these artifacts. So if our, when I'm testing my, my deployment step, if it fails, I don't need to go back and retrain in order to test deployment. The, the model's right here. I should just rerun from this point, saving, in my case, what's a few minutes. But for an actual real use case, it could be quite significant. So anyway, I, I share this again. I'm going to clean this up and improve it. But I share this as an example of what not to do. This is where good project structure, thinking about modular design, will save you real time.